Hi, this is Alexander Holinsky, and I'll be presenting our paper, Sun Stage, Portrait Reconstruction and Relighting Using the Sun as a Light Stage. A light stage captures detailed geometry and reflectance properties for a particular subject. This is useful for a number of applications, including portrait relighting, creating digital humans, and special effects. In many cases, however, we might want to do some of these same things on a subject that hasn't been captured by a light stage. After all, a light stage isn't always available. They're hard to come by and need lots of expertise to build and operate. If you don't have access to a light stage, you can use image-based techniques, which instead use priors extracted from previous light stage captures to guide the process of relighting an image of a new subject. While these methods can perform relighting convincingly, the fact that they primarily rely on priors means that they have difficulty capturing and reproducing some of the detailed geometry and reflectance properties that are unique to each individual person. To help close this gap, we present SunStage, a capture and reconstruction system that uses the sun as a minimalist light stage. Given as input a handheld video of a person rotating in a circle under the sun, our method uses the observations of the face under varying sun directions to solve for parameters that explain the scene, including geometry, material properties, lighting, and camera parameters. These reconstructed parameters can be used to realistically re-render the face in the original scene. Compared to image-based relighting techniques, our method is able to capture many of the subtle details that are unique to the person, like wrinkles and detailed reflectance and realistically reproduces lighting effects like cast shadows and specular reflections. Using the reconstructed scene parameters, we can re-render the face in arbitrary configurations in the input scene. But we can also edit the scene by editing the reconstructed parameters, which enables a whole bunch of cool applications. For example, we can modify the existing lighting by changing the brightness of the sun, or increase the size of the sun, thus softening the harsh shadows on the face. To reduce the effects of the shadows even further, we can add a fill light to reduce the contrast between the lit and shaded regions, as is common practice in outdoor portrait photography. And we can make this fill light any color we want. We can also move the sun around, changing the elevation or the azimuth. Or we can even change the time of day to create an image at the golden hour. We can also simulate the OLAT, or one light at a time data, that is typically captured by a light stage. And finally, we can even render the person in a totally new virtual environment. Since we're also explicitly recovering facial geometry and camera parameters, we can also modify those by rendering the subject from new viewpoints, or we can adjust camera parameters like focal length, decreasing the focal length to simulate an ultra-wide lens, or increasing the focal length to remove unpleasant distortion on the face. And lastly, since we're also recovering material properties, we can adjust those too, by editing the skin texture to add freckles, makeup, or stickers that realistically interact with lighting effects like shadows and specular reflections. Or we can edit the skin's shininess to remove harsh reflections or make the face unnaturally shiny. Thanks for listening, and please check out the paper for more details.